Welcome to the Mac OSG video software review for Centurion Technologies Mac Shield Enhanced. Mac Shield Enhanced is a system restoration solution that enables you to maintain a default configuration on your computer with relative ease. Its design allows you to minimize restoration maintenance tasks, ensure a standard software configuration, is virtually undetectable when running in stealth mode, allows you to exclude specified folders for data retention, is easy to install and configure, and offers support through an online knowledge base, online trouble ticket system, or live support through an 800 number. Let's take a look at MacShield in action. For this demonstration, I have enabled the menu icon for MacShield. The menu allows you to enable or disable MacShield. You use the MacShield manager to make configuration changes to MacShield. It allows you to enable or disable MacShield. It also allows you to show the MacShield status in the menu bar. And it also allows you to hide the MacShield status when MacShield is active. The Storage tab shows all currently protected volumes and the amount of temporary storage allocated to each volume. You can adjust this by moving the slider at the bottom of the screen to make the temporary volume larger or smaller. The Server tab is used to set up remote management. MacShield installations can be managed remotely from an administration server. If you have an administration server for MacShield, you enter your server information into this area. The next area is Registration. This is where you will enter your registration information to register MacShield. Once you activate MacShield, it will immediately ask you to restart your computer to complete the activation. I'm going to restart my computer to activate MacShield. When MacShield is active on your system, you will notice that the MacShield icon is green in color. Anytime you choose a menu item from the Mac Shield menu, you will be prompted to enter your password before any changes can be made. For this demonstration, I'm going to install some simple packages. I'm just going to go ahead and make some changes to the configuration. First, I'm going to install a Visualizer plugin for iTunes. The installation will proceed as if Mac Shield is not even installed. Once the installation has completed, I'll go ahead and make some configuration changes to the system. I think I'll go in and I'll set the desktop pattern to be something different than what it is by default. So I'm going to go ahead and set the desktop pattern to Tiger. And after I completed this, I'll go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to go ahead and check in iTunes to make sure that my installation of my visualizer did install. And yes, it did. There it's working. Now we'll go ahead and we'll close that out. Now I'll go ahead and subscribe to a podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and, and subscribe to the Mac OSG podcast and download the first podcast. After I've completed this download, I should have a file in my iTunes directory on my hard drive for that podcast. So we'll just go check to make sure that that is the case. And there's the podcasts, and there's the Mac OSG podcast right there. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and shut everything down. Now, let's go ahead and restart the computer to test our Mac Shield installation. The first thing I'd like to do is to go back and check the iTunes directory to see if the podcast directory is there. And the podcast directory is gone. Now we'll go into iTunes to see if the visualizer is there. And no, the visualizer is not there. My computer is clean and it is using the same configuration it was using before I installed the software or made the configuration changes. Now let's talk a little bit about how it works. MacShield creates a temporary storage area on your hard disk. The default size is 4 gigabytes or half the available space on your drive, whichever is smaller. Configuration settings are read from your normal volume when you start your machine. Any changes made to your system or configuration are written back to the temporary storage. Upon restart, your system starts off the main hard disk and any changes on the temporary partition are deleted and your machine starts from its default configuration. I give Max Shield Enhanced from Centurion Technologies four and a half marbles. It is an excellent program and does what it's advertised to do and it does it very well.
Thank you for watching this Mac OS G video review. Please feel free to stop by the Mac OS G forums at macosg.com.